This little board allows you to do something frankly incredible and that is attach a compatible HDMI device to the DJI Digital FPV system. Now this board isn't a DJI product, it is an aftermarket PCB designed by a company called Cinetronics and today I'm going to give you an overview of how it works. Okay now just to walk you around this board from Cinetronics first of all, now size wise it is 30 by 30 to the PCB or about 32 by 34 to the ports. Now looking around we have a HDMI input at the top here, there is a USB-C port down here for connecting and updating the firmware if that ever needed to be done, there's a boot button, there's a ground and 5 volt pad down there, some LEDs, some chipsets and then on this side of the board if I spin it around we have our standard camera connection for the DJI system as well as an external external 1 and external 2 pads which will be available in the future for allowing you to do things like forcing the aircraft to arm. Now this board as I've said already is a little bit special in the sense of it allows you to input any HDMI compatible camera onto the DJI Digital FPV system. When I say the Digital FPV system that means either this, the original Cadex Vista or Runcam Link air unit or this the original DJI air unit. This board is not compatible with the O3 air unit, that actually has a completely different connector and a different set of requirements and there isn't a board available for the O3 at this time. Now the really amazing thing about this board is it allows you to take a compatible HDMI input and when I say compatible it must conform to some very specific things i.e. it must be 720p resolution and it must be 60 frames a second and input that into these ear units. The connections on this are very simple, you would simply connect the camera cable that went from the camera to the ear unit instead of going to the camera it would go to this board so you would simply plug it in to that connector on the bottom of the board there and then on this side we have our HDMI compatible input which takes that 720p 60 frames a second video input. So more than anything the idea of this board is to allow you to use your own compatible camera device with the DJI FPV system. Now that input as I've said has to be 720p 60 frames a second, you cannot vary from that and that does somewhat limit the kind of devices that you can use it with. For instance a lot of the mirrorless cameras now will only output 1080p minimum, none of my mirrorless cameras here will actually go down to 720p but there are GoPros that go to 720p but also there are more interesting cameras cameras that will go to 720p as well which I'll talk a bit more about towards the end of the video. What I'm going to do next though is demonstrate this board in use. What we're going to do first of all is connect it up to my computer and then I'll show you it with another kind of input. Okay now for the first demonstration of this we're going to use my PC. We have the HDMI input board connected to my PC and I've set it as another display. That's going into the DJI ear unit and that's being transmitted to my V2 goggles. Now you're not going to be able to easily see that here but I have set up my DJI Action 2 to record and I'll pop that up on the display. What I can do though is just demonstrate what you can do with this. So at the moment you have my PC desktop showing. What I am going to do though is try and move a window over to that other display. Let that go up there and what I'm going to do is just lean in and find the play button because JB is currently live and I'm going to set that to full screen as well. So there you go, you can see that we're now able to display my PC's display directly on these goggles. You're able to see JB playing back in all his glory. Now just to show you that setup also works with the DJI goggles too in the DIY FPV mode and in fact you can even stream it out via the cable to your smartphone using the DJI Fly app. So again if I just look for my browser window which seems to have vanished, I've got a uh, stream playing there. If I then try and get that over to this window here, there we go, move that up into full screen. You can see again we can continue to play JB's live stream and you can see it there full screen. Obviously there's no audio in this setup at all even when doing it this way through the goggles too there's no audio but you can get 
your live video coming in via HDMI into either the V2, the V1 goggles, or the goggles 2 via a compatible input. Now, as I've said, at this moment in time, this board is only designed for the DJI Digital FPV system, which means you can use it with the goggles V1 and V2s in the DIY FPV mode, or you can use it with the goggles 2 or Integra in that original DIY FPV mode as well. As I've said, though, you cannot use this with O3 at this time. That is a completely different system. Now, as for what other interesting use cases there are for a board like this, well, it really comes down to your own imagination. There are a lot of other kind of cameras out there, such as thermal cameras that you could connect up to the DJI FPV system. There is some UARTs on here that don't have full functionality at this time, but there is potential with software development in the future to be able to do other things, including forcing it to arm. But the reality is what this board does is allow you to connect an input device that is compatible with that specific resolution and frame rate to the DJI FPV system. Now, I have done a bit of a demo on something else that you could do with this, and I'm going to show you that now. Now, for this demonstration, we have something a little bit interesting. We have our HDMI input, again, still connected to our Vista just down there. That, though, this time is connected to this PI and also connected to this PI via an OTG cable, which is this one here is one of the infrared thermal cameras. I'll just bring it up so you can see that it is actually attached. And here you can see the goggles too showing the connection, but you can't see the displays. So I've got my smartphone hooked up via the Fly app and you can actually see on the screen that we have that thermal image from that infrared P2 Pro coming in via the DJI Digital FPV system. Now, obviously doing it this way will add some latency, the latency of the Pi. I'm not measuring this with regards to latency. It's high. If I just do that, actually, sorry, let me put it in screen and put my fingers so you can see it. There we go. You can see there that the latency is definitely noticeable. But what this is, is a demonstration of you being able to do things with the DJI Digital FPV system with this HDMI input board like we have never been able to do before. What is also super cool is that you can even record this on the goggle side DVR. This works on both the V2 goggles as well as the goggles too. You can record the image just like you would with any normal DJI camera input via the digital FPV system. Now, just to share with you some thoughts on this little board, overall, it is a really impressive piece of kit. Obviously, it is slightly limited in the sense of the DJI system is only going to allow you to input 720p 60 frames a second via this board, and that will limit what kind of cameras you can use with it. It really isn't designed to allow people just to have a bit of a better FPV image. This is about allowing you to input sources into the DJI system that you would never have normally been able to do. Things like mirrorless cameras, thermal cameras, and you use it in new and unique situations. In my testing, it works very well, although I have found the odd quirk with the HDMI connection. There's been occasions where I've had to unplug and plug the HDMI connection back in to get it to actually work after the ear unit is booted, but it has been reliable once it is working. What you just need to make sure is that it does have that compatible 720p 60 frames a second input. I would love to see something like this for the DJI O3 system, especially with a 1080p input. That would open it up to the use of a lot more cameras. I know a lot of cine guys who would be really interested in having this attached to their system so they could wirelessly transmit their DJI system normally, but also then have a second feedback off their mirrorless camera for filming. There was a huge amount of interest when Caddx said that they might make a HDMI VTX, yet today it still hasn't happened. And we now have this little board from Syntronix that does give us that functionality. Now, if you're interested in getting one of these, there will be a link to it in the description. I want to say a big thank you to Cinetronics for sending this one over. It is a very, very interesting product, and I'm going to be following it closely. And if you're interested in getting one, there will be a link in the description. Anyway, that's it for me on this one. Please do let me know what you think in the comment section. If you have any questions, put them down below and I will try and answer them as well. And finally, I just want to say, if you'd like to support the channel, please do consider checking out the links to my Patreon as well as buy me a coffee. It is only through your support am I able to keep making content on this channel. I would not be able to buy these goggles that you see here without the support of my Patreons. And if you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making content in the future, please do consider checking it out. 
Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. I will speak to you soon.